Till now, we've seen hypothesis testing in terms of the steps which is required for hypothesis testing. Now, we will see the various errors and power of a statistical test. When we say that P, which is the measure of statistical significance, is less than 0 0.05, which means that 95% sure that the result is not obtained by chance. But still there is a 5% probability that the result of the test or the hypothesis testing was obtained by chance. So in previous example, even though we rejected the null hypothesis, there is still a 5% chance that it is true. In other words, there is still a 5% chance that the fasting blood sugar of the population is 135. Now, when we do any kind of hypothesis testing, we encounter these two types of error. The first is type 1 error, also called as alpha error, which is the false positive error. The second is type 2 error, which is called beta error, which is false negative error. Let me explain you further with a diagram. Now, when we do any hypothesis testing, there could be two scenarios. The hypothesis, the null hypothesis can be true and or the null hypothesis can be false. And based on the result, the null hypothesis can be accepted or the null hypothesis can be rejected. If we see when the null hypothesis is accepted and null hypothesis is true or when the null hypothesis is rejected and the null hypothesis is false, we get a correct result. So in this case, there is no error. But suppose the null hypothesis is true and we reject it, which means we have detected something when it is not there because we have rejected the null hypothesis, which means we have detected something. Whereas in actuality, the null hypothesis is true. This kind of error is called alpha error or type 1 error or false positive error, which means you have got a false positive even though it is not true. Think of something like in pregnancy, you get a po urine test positive, but still the, pe you know, the person is not pregnant. So such kind of error where you detect a pregnancy, but the patient is not pregnant is kind of alpha or type 1 error which is false positive error. You have to remember this. Lots of questions are asked on this. So when the null hypothesis is true and you have rejected the null hypothesis, which means you have detected something which is not there, it is type 1 error, false positive. Conversely, the type 2 error or beta error is false negative error, which means failing to detect an effect. So suppose you have done the pregnancy test and you have got negative result but actually if the person is pregnant this kind of error is called beta error let me you know discuss a little more about it in terms of powers of a statistical test the next thing we are going to discuss now when we talk about you know how to increase the power of statistical test and what it depends upon let's see how we can reduce type 1 error we can reduce type 1 error is by following more stringent alpha levels like say uh, when we took the last case it was like we wanted to have a power uh, a p value of 0 0.05 if we reduce it from 0 0.05 to 0 0.01 thereby increasing the confidence level from 95 percent to 99 percent this will reduce type 1 error so what type 1 error we take more al stringent alpha levels Reducing type 2 is more challenging and for that you have to increase the alpha actually. So increase it. Increasing the alpha from 0.01 to 0 0.05 which means that you know making this test more sensitive. Also you would have known that there is a trade-off between tra uh, type 1 and type 2. So if you want to uh, if you are increasing the confidence interval level or alpha, uh, alpha level from 0.05 to 0.01, you reduce the type 1, but you increase the type 2 error. So generally in medical science, 0 0.05 is taken as a standard or 95% confidence interval is taken as standard. It is considered to be a balance between type 1 and type 2 error. Now, another way to reduce type 2 error is the size of the difference between sample mean and hypothesized mean, which means that say in previous case, uh, the hypothesized mean was 135 fasting blood sugar. So the lesser the difference is between the hypothesized mean and the sample mean, the lesser will be type 2 error. So type 2 error reduces if the difference between sample mean 
and the hypothesized mean increases. Third is sampling error decrease. So standard deviation of the sample decreases, type 2 error decreases. Finally, sample size. Sample size is one of the most, you know, easiest way to increase the, uh, to decrease the type 2 error. So more is the sample population, the more is the sample, uh, 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 less is the chances of type 2 error. Let's come to power of test. So it is the ability of test to detect a false null hypothesis. So when we are talking about power of a test, it's about beta. Remember, because we are talking about false null hypothesis. So power of test is defined as 1 minus beta, where beta is type 2 error. Typically, the power of test should not be less than 80% or beta should be less than 0 0.2. So power of test should be more than 80% and beta should be less than 0 0.2 in medical statistical test. And increasing the sample size is the most practical way to increase the power of the test. So remember power of test depends upon beta not alpha and increasing the sample size is the most practical way to increase the power of the test. Questions have been asked on both these points frequently. Now if you see uh, one thing more I would like to say that there are two tests, directional tests. One is a two-tailed test where you know you say that something is great, uh, greater than and less than so you define both the limits. So this is a two-tailed test and this is a one-tailed test where we say fasting blood sugar of the population is greater than 135. So this is the area of rejection. If you see, uh, one-tailed tests are inherently more powerful than two-tailed tests. This is something which you have to remember. Why in one-tailed test, chances of getting a false negative is very, very low. right? So you have to remember one tail tests are more powerful than two tail test. Now, something more when we do hypothesis testing uh, and hypothesis for any test should be pre-specified. Post hoc analysis is once we have got the data, we might do try to do some more analysis using that data. But post hoc, ana post -hoc analysis should be used very cautiously as they are prone to type one error. Also, uh, we might want to do a subgroup analysis that we have data of different subgroups and we want to do you know the analysis or the hypothesis testing in those subgroups like say in the example of fasting blood sugar mean of 135 we might have a different set of data for male a different set of data for female and we want to look at the data separately but subgroup analysis is prone to type 2 errors if not pre-specified because then you do not match that uh, you know both the control as well as the test arms so subgroup analysis is prone to type 2 errors and post hoc analysis is prone to type 1 error you have to remember this again lots of example and typically what happens when you do a post hoc or a subgroup analysis without pre-specifying without having a pre-specific uh, even before you are conducting the sample, uh, you just try to do a subgroup analysis. Then you can get results like diabetes is more common in boys born in October than in other months. So this is a typical result wherein you have not, but still you will find some statistical data, which you are not sure that if it is true or not true. Cancer is more common in people born in March than in other months. Aspirin is markedly beneficial to patients of heart attack unless the patient is born in gem under Gemini or Libra. These are actually real subgroup analysis which has been brought about by various tests, but they are not significant because the hypothesis was never pre-specified or the subgroup analysis was never pre-specified. So in this we have learned in this lecture we have learned about uh, types of error and how to reduce those errors and the power of any statistical test.